Welcome back future medicos. In this video, we will look at one more deemed university. We will look at the fee structure, seat matrix. And finally, we will also look at what was the closing score to get into this college in the last three years. So this will give you some idea about your possibility of getting a seat in this medical college. Come, let's go and see this video. So we are looking at Chettinad Hospital and Research Institute. This college is located in Chennai in Tamil Nadu. This college is affiliated to the deemed university that is Chettinad Academy of Research and Education. This particular medical college offers a total of 250 MBBS seats and all the 250 MBBS seats comes under All India General Category, which means there is no restriction to join this college. There are no restrictions in terms of domicile or community reservation. Anyone can join this college as long as you have cleared NEET exam. The only requirement is you should have cleared NEET exam. There are no specific seats reserved for NRIs or there is no NRI category. If you are an NRI and if you want to join this medical college, then you need to fill choices under general category. Where should I apply to get a seat in this college? All the 250 MBBS seats are offered through Medical Counseling Committee. So you need to register with MCC and participate in the online counseling at the All India level. Now, what is the fee structure? The fee structure is 24.5 lakhs into 5. Okay, please remember 24.5 lakhs into 5. In addition to that, they also charge something called other fees, uniform caution deposit, university registration fees, next coaching, next is nothing but PG NEET. PG NEET, currently it's PG NEET. In the future, it will be called next. So they are charging 1,18,320. Uh, this is what is stated in their prospectus. But when I visited their college, they said, uh, it is one and a half lakhs. So I'm not sure whether this is right or one and a half lakhs is right. So even on their website, I saw somewhere that it is mentioned 1.5 lakhs. And when I checked with the previous batches, they said they are paying about 25.8 lakhs totally. So I'm not sure whether this amount is correct or not. So I would recommend you to be ready to pay somewhere between uh, 24.5 plus 1.18. That is about 25.7 to maybe about 26 lakhs. So roughly keep the budget at 26 lakhs. That would be better. So 26 lakhs into five. So that's about 1.3 crores is the total tuition fee for the college. Now, this is the hostel fees, mess and accommodation. This is last year fees, 2023-24. They have many options, single, double, triple, AC, non-AC, bath attached, non-bath attached. So they have a lot of options. And the cheapest option that is triple bed, non-AC, non-bathroom attached, I mean bathroom not attached, uh, starts at 1.95 lakhs for boys. And for girls, it starts at 2.2 lakhs. And it goes up as high as 4 lakhs per year. So it's somewhere between 1.95 to 4 lakhs last year. But this year, the fees they have increased to 2.1 lakhs to 4.2 lakhs. They have not given the breakdown, but since it is 2.1 to 4.2, I see that every category might have increased the fees by about 15,000 to maybe 20,000. That's what I believe. So probably the lowest option that is triple bed, non-EAC, maybe now it will be 2.1. And whereas uh, if you are going for triple bed EAC, uh, for girls, it might come close to about 2.75 lakhs. So uh, the first year, you will be offered only triple sharing rooms. Subsequently, only you can move to either single or double. So probably when you are joining the college, um, the hostel fees will be roughly about uh, 2.1 to 2.75 lakhs. That's going to be the cost depending on uh, non-AC or AC room, whether it is boys or girls. So it's about 2.1 to 2.75. So college 26 lakhs plus here 2.1 to 2.75 that's about uh, we are talking about somewhere 28 to 29 lakhs is your total cost to study in this college. So if you look at the total expenses you have to spend somewhere between 1.4 to 1.5 crores to complete MBBS in this, in this college. So plan accordingly. 
um, if you are joining this college, maybe say, for example, if you are joining this college in the first round or second round, and then subsequently you upgrade or you move to your state counseling, can I do that? Yes, you can do that as long as MCC allows. Uh, if Until last year, MCC allowed uh, resignation until the start of round three. Before round three, they allowed people to resign. So in case if you are leaving in this period, during the period when MCC still allows resignation, you will get back all the money. That is, say, for example, if you, if you have paid 26 lakhs, you will get back all the 26 lakhs. But the college will deduct 10,000 rupees. Okay. So there will be 10,000 rupees which will be deducted if you join and leave the college. And uh, the remaining amount, right? 26 lakhs I have paid 10,000 deducted. The remaining 25.9 lakhs, it will take about seven working days to get the refund. So remember this, the 25.9 lakhs will not be immediately given to you. So it may take seven working days. In that case, you have to be ready. Say, for example, if you are moving to another deemed university, you should get ready another amount because the joining time may be around seven days for the new college. So you cannot depend on the refund to pay the other college. And the other college will not wait, will not give you time. So ideally, if you are planning to join a deemed university and move to another deemed university, I strongly recommend you to keep two times the fees as the cash flow. Otherwise, it would be extremely difficult to move from one deemed university to another deemed university. Now, what is the closing rank last year? It was quite easy to get. Last year, it was around like 10 lakh plus All India rank. Of course, subsequent rounds, it becomes tougher. You could see that round three, it was about nine and a half lakh. Stay round, it was about six lakh thirty six thousand. And special stay round was four lakh sixty thousand. So it's always better if you are interested in Chetinat, go in the first round. Might be easier to get the seat in this college. The previous years, it was slightly higher, the cutoff. It varied somewhere between 7.5 lakh to 9 lakhs. So I don't think the cutoff is going to be quite high this year. It's going to be around the 10 lakh uh, range, I think so. But of course, yeah, it's very difficult to predict uh, these kind of colleges because uh, you could see that uh, in one year it was 7 lakh, in one year it was 9 lakh, in one year it was 10 lakh. So it could fluctuate, but considering the a fee structure, right? Considering the cost of 28, 29 lakhs, I don't think it, it is going to be highly in demand. Okay. As long as if you go in the first round, probably your chances might be quite high. Now, in terms of marks, uh, of course, in the previous years, it was somewhere between 110 marks to 150 marks. But this year, the scores may be higher, right? Because everyone, the scores are higher. Even the pass mark this year is about 162 for general category. So maybe uh, the scores may be slightly higher this year. But don't worry, uh, if you are interested in this college, give it as a choice during choice filling. And then let's see, right? Uh, that's all we can do. Now, this is the disclaimer. Of course, the fees is as displayed at the college website. I have taken it from the prospectus. And I told you that there are some discrepancies. There is a small discrepancy between what the uh, information that is passed on from the college or what is stated in the prospectus there is a small difference so which i have already highlighted to you and the ranks i have collected from the mcc website so i hope this information is useful to you my best wishes for your counseling thank you bye bye